Hello, a few days ago I bought the Warmby Double O electric train set which consists of the Royal Scott and it came with these destination boards and headboards. Now these are them, I don't know how well you can see that, but that one there says the Royal Scot. These two also say the Royal Scot. These four say, well those two say the Royal Scot, and those two say London Glasgow. And that one there also says the Royal Scot. Now I'll show you where they need this to go. This is what I mean. There's a headboard there I need to stick on. Well there's the uh, main plate which has already been stuck on, but on the two carriages about to see the two destination boards just there and there and on the bright carriage and it has one and then that very long name board goes on the back of this carriage here in, in the doorway and you shall see what I'm doing. Right, from the Hornby forum both Tony57 and what about the bee suggested I'd, I should use blue or black tack so if I ever want to take them off and I can but I don't think I ever want to do that because I've got these two other carriages here it's a great western both of these have got a headboard that says Cornish Rivera Express and I've got this one as well it says Cornish Rivera Limited and this one actually broke off and I actually glued it back on so by me super gluing them back up these onto my other carriages it won't be a problem I don't think I will ever want to take them off because there'd be no reason to take them off because that's what they're here for that's why they made them so I will be super gluing them on here goes nothing put a bit of the super glue on the back of this headboard here very carefully stick it on top of that little hinge there so I hope that's done that so now let's head for the carriages. I don't know how well you can see that but just above the window and just beneath the roof there's a kind of little slit and I thought that these would just like to simply slide in but they don't as you can see they will just fall out. I thought that little slit would be just big enough for them to slide in so that's where they go but you know it would have been a good design so you could actually like just slide them in so you don't have to worry about the glue but see if I let go they'll just fall off again so what I've got to do is very carefully glue the back and then this one goes above the second window just halfway through above this that board like that goes according to the photo on the back of the box so let me just glue that I always seem to get super glue all over my fingers or but not where I actually want it. I hope that's enough glue. Make sure I get it up the right way. Don't want to put it up upside down. The last thing you want to do. I've already got it on my fingers. Starting to look better already. I know you can see a few glue marks but hey ho. Just to quickly show you that's the first carriage done. The Royal Scott, London Glasgow, done both sides. Royal Scott, London Glasgow. Now I'll quickly do the other carriage or the brake van. So this is the brake van. And there's the brake coat. both sides. All there is left to do now is to stick this on. Apparently I've got no photos but apparently I've been told this goes on the end of here. So I'll do that in a second then. Like I said I haven't seen any photos so apparently this goes on the end so stick a bit of glue on the here. Carefully stick it on the end. Make sure it's straight I think. It's pretty much straight finished. Now I'll give you a quick running session what it looks like running around my track with the destination boards and the name plates on them.
Welcome to the Midland Model Railway, the Triple MR for short.